Her name is Jackie Mason. 33 years ago, she was born with cerebral palsy, a neurological disorder that afflicts almost one million Americans. Doctors labeled her severely retarded. Most of her life, she lived at home, cared for by her parents and physicians. Then, one day, five years ago, Jackie Mason decided to move out and go it alone. Regardless of whether you're able-bodied or disabled, life always has a negative side to it. And I had my down moments, but I always picked myself back up again and just kept on going. This is my utility bill, so if I pass out, y'all don't think anything about it. It's not bad. I just live my life like I'm saying like anybody else, because I am like anybody else. I don't think you'll ever get as bad as Houston, but it's, it's bad. I'm just getting in my car and going to work. That's how I look at it. And that's how I want other people to look at it. I want other people to look at me as a human being first, and then if they have to, look at the disability second. Good morning, Arsenal. Can I help you? Okay, our services are for the disabled and the elderly. I do have people walk into the office for the first time and go, oh my God, this is amazing. And they're really amazed at, at the receptionist sitting on the floor and answering the phone with her feet and uh, taking messages and screening phone calls and uh, making sure that appointments get to the right person. There are jobs out there. It's just making the employer aware, uh, sensitivity, awareness, job modifications. This person can do the job if you're willing to make the modifications. Good morning, Arsenal. Can I help you? Dennis? Yes? There's an I R call on line one for you. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh. To watch her do what she does with those phones is inspiration enough. It's just another barrier to tackle and overcome, and she seems to, she's done it just about as well as anybody, any other disabled person I've ever seen. She's not self-conscious at all, and if she has a gripe, it's probably about the same thing you or I or anybody else would gripe about. It's not that different. It's not that different. We know that our office has a positive effect on people. Most people have never seen there's many disabled people in an environment, and they've never seen people with severe disabilities doing the kind of jobs we do. And to us, it's just all in the day's work, and it's uh, what goes on here. It's how we operate. I think life is just what you make of it, whether you have a disability or not. And I think that's what people have to learn. You have to be optimistic. You have to be. I have to say, throughout shooting that story, I never once heard that woman utter one negative word. To her, life is a gift, a gift she shares generously with all who are lucky enough to know her. I'm grateful to consider myself among one of the lucky ones.